شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن. Alright, y'all. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video of mine. Uh, today we're doing a Q and A. It was supposed to be a mug bang with a Q and A, but I ate a little earlier and I am full right now, so I'm not eating. But uh, let's hop right into these questions. We got a good amount of questions. Uh, some of them I'm not gonna answer, but let's go. I got my laptop right here with the screenshots. So the first question was. If you didn't live in LA, where else would you live? Uh, that's a good question. If I didn't live in LA, if, if you're talking about in the US, it'll probably be San, San Francisco. If you're talking about anywhere, probably Saudi Arabia. Okay, the second one, uh, what cities slash countries are on your bucket list? So cities, I want to go to the DMV. I want to go to the DMV. I've been hearing a lot of people talk about the DMV and a lot of people have been telling me come to the DMV. They say it's East African Central, it's African Central. They got all the good foods, blah, 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 blah. So the DMV is definitely somewhere I want to go. Uh, out of the country, I want to go to Palestine, I want to go to Jordan, I want to go to the UAE, I want to go, I want to go so many places, bro, like, y'all don't understand, I, I got the travel bug, I got a, literally a travel bug. Okay, third question, where do you see yourself as a person in five years, inshallah? Where do you see yourself as a person? I think I'll be the same in five years. Like, growth always comes, but uh, I don't think I'm going to change that much. Uh, the next question. Hit me up for merch. We're a Muslim-owned business. We can make custom clothes and shit. Bro, I'm trying to promote on a Q&A uh, video. <laughs> okay, okay. Next question. Uh... No haram foods, please. Only zabiha, hand slaughter food. Oh gosh. Anyways, next question. My dream job. I don't like working, so I I don't know. I as a kid, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. My dream job was becoming a cop, but now I don't really have a dream job to be honest. Next question. Top three best friends. Top three best friends. I can't. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Next slide. Do you want to go to Somali, Somalia one day? Inshallah. Next. Do you have a wife? I told y'all no. No, none of these marriage questions, bro. <laughs> I'm not married. Next question. Are you a half of I am not, I wish. Inshallah, throughout my life, I definitely want to have the whole Quran memorized, though. I'm looking at my phone. I don't know if I'm looking into the camera and I can't check, because if I look back at my, I don't know. Okay. Next. Are you ready for marriage? Next. Are you into Gambian girls? Huh? Next, what's your greatest regret so far? So I try and not, ha I try not to, to, to have any regrets and I, I don't really think I have any regrets, but one thing that I wish I did was spend more time with uh, my sheikh when he was around and gain more knowledge when, when he was here and he hasn't been here for a few years now. and. And, and it just shows how much you how much you lost that he, now that he's gone and how much you how much you took him for granted when he was here so that's probably something uh what was your favorite memory from your childhood middle school Islamic middle school I used to go to al Medina and it was a movie every day <laughs> okay uh, our teeth grills haram 
not gold. Uh, are cheap girls haram not gold? Ask a scholar or a student of knowledge. I, I don't know. Uh, are you? I'm not answering that. Favorite UFC fighter? Uh, Khabib is retired, so active. Probably Israel Adesanya, since he's Muslim too. Are you a sneakerhead or what? You know what's crazy? I used to be into sneakers. Now I do not care for. I will walk out in anything. Anything. Uh. Do you wear contacts because I see you wearing sun? I see you wearing glasses sometimes. Those clear glasses y'all see me wearing is from Sheen, and they're like three bucks. They're just fashion glasses. I, I don't wear glasses. What was your favorite experience when you were in Gambia? Uh, seeing my family, seeing my niece and, and her kids, uh, that was probably the best thing. Come to Seattle. Seattle has been on my list. Inshallah, I want to visit Seattle one day. So when do you plan to get married? Chef Momo. I said no marriage question, Chef Momo. <laughs> I don't know though. I don't know. Whatever Allah wills. Next. What made you start your own YouTube channel? I've had a YouTube channel for a long time, actually. And I used to post on my YouTube channel. But uh, being known as a content creator... Uh, it's just YouTube is just like another step to take, uh, and and I YouTube was probably the first thing I've been on, and then I left YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and now back to YouTube. Inshallah, for the long run. Uh, so so to create content, I guess is is why I created my YouTube channel. If you could step on a plane right now, where would you love to go? If I could step on a plane right now, I'm going back to. Oh, it's either if I can step on a plane right now, I'm either going to Saudi or I'm going to Jordan. I'm man. I have family in both places. How many siblings do you have? I have 17 siblings, 18 including me. How old are you? I'm 20 years old. Dang, I'm 20, bro. I'm 20. When are you... Ugh, I'm not answering that. Favorite TikToker? Uh, I got a... Favorite TikToker? One of my favorite TikTokers is Ustad Fuad. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, he's a Darwa creator. He's very good. There's another Darwa creator, and I forget his name. Uh, he's he's in the UAE though. He's he's a really good TikToker. You got Adil. You got Abu Mecca. You got you got all these creators. You got Abdul, Asfar. These are awesome. Some very good creators. Uh, Jamal, you too. Stop playing. How does it feel being Somali? Bah. I'm not Somali. Have you ever seen Mufti Makes Live? Uh, yeah, I think I saw him on live before. Could you explain how life is? Uh, life is good. All praise you do to Allah under all circumstances. That's something that used to be said. All praise is due to Allah under all circumstances. No matter what what I'm going through. Give praises to Allah. Uh, Nafisur, I'm going to say your name. Nafisur said, why are you so short? And I'm tired of y'all saying I'm short. I'm above average for a guy, I think. What's the average height for a guy? I think I'm above. I think I'm above average. Uh, 
I'm five nine, five ten with some shoes on. Next, uh, did you quit gaming? I haven't played my PlayStation actively in a in a while. I mean, I have it in there. I could turn it on whenever I want. I I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't game like I used to. Next, are you single? If you're asking if I'm married, no. Uh, background and ethnicity. I'm African American and Palestinian. Uh, which one is better, Somali food or Gambian food? They're both very good. Very good. Next. How cool is it to be with the Dean? How cool is it to be with the Dean? Huh? Anyway. Next. Will you be my husband? Of course. Okay, next. Someone said... I'm trying to know where you're going. If y'all don't know, I, I put it on TikTok that... I'm gonna be announcing me traveling somewhere... Uh close to Eid and it's gonna be a huge announcement and he's asking me where am I going I can't say it okay someone said would you ever want to go to Somalia and what is one thing you love about the culture I would definitely want to go to Somalia inshallah and one thing I love about the culture the Somali culture uh, first of all First of all, y'all funny. <laughs> First of all, y'all funny. Uh, what is your dream job? I don't have one. What's your favorite place you've been to? Saudi Arabia. How does it feel to travel the world? I am not even close to traveling the world. I've went to like three places, bro. Okay. How you got close to Allah and how to stay on your deen, even when it's hard. Okay, let's take some time on this one. Let's take some time on this one. How you got close to Allah and how to stay on your deen, even when it's hard. One word, two words, three words. Prayer. And dua. Prayer and dua. The Prophet said, What separates us, Muslims, from the non believers is what? Salah. Prayer. So if you're someone that doesn't pray, you're literally putting yourself on the same level as non believers. And then, and then when you find yourself in difficult situations, you wonder why. Don't ever figure, don't ever give up on prayer. Don't worry about anything else you're struggling with. You struggling with smoking, you struggling with music, you struggling with this, you struggling with that. Don't worry about that right now. F fix your prayer. Fix your prayer. Wallahi, fix your prayer. After you fix your prayer, then go to those other things. But if your prayer is not fixed, if you're not praying your five daily prayers, that bond between you and Allah, that agreement between you and Allah to where you pray to him and he looks over you is broken. Allah doesn't owe you anything if you're not going to pray to him. He doesn't owe you anything if you're not bowing down to him. So one of the one of the one of the things I could say to to get you closer to a Lord to 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 stay on the straight path is to pray. Pray. And then once you're there, you make dua. You make dua and you put yourself in 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 situations to where you're closer to Muslims and you're you're near people that that teach you about Islam and and things of that sort. Uh Try to go to the masjid too. Try and go to the masjid. Okay, next question. That got a little deep for a second. I had to, I could go on, I could 
talk about that topic for like 20 minutes to be honest but i'm gonna stop right here next question why does abdu have a big a forehead abdu abdu i don't know almost bro he does it on I know a book. What was the first time you realized? Uh, what was the first? What was the first time you realized you had to take things seriously? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I had to take things seriously. I have no clue. Probably when I got into community college. Could you go live with Salim and Idil again? Please, last time it was so funny. First of all, Idil is not funny. Idil is corny. Salim, my boy. I miss you, Salim. If you watch this, Salim, I miss you, bro. But Idil is corny. <laughs> I'm crying. Would you ever marry a Somali queen? I mean, if she a queen, she a queen, you feel me? If she a queen, she, she got to get the king, you feel me? <laughs> Ah, I don't know. I don't know who I'm a Mary. Only Allah knows. Okay, so there's like six, seven of them that I skipped because they're talking about some nonsense that I, I don't want to repeat. Uh, but that does it for the video. My niece is literally over here bugging me, spam texting me. Uh, but that does it for the video. Inshallah, uh, if you guys want a part two of this with more questions, you can let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, but until then. Oh, so 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 tomorrow, I think. Uh, I think I want to start doing these little podcast series with some of my friends to where we sit. We're chilling on the couches and we're eating. And we talk about different Islamic topics. If you guys wanna, if you guys wanna, uh, if you guys wanna watch that, you can put that in the comments below. Also, uh, I think inshallah we're gonna start that up. Uh, see how it goes. See how you guys like it. Uh, but until then, I am tired. I'm ready to go to sleep. I am out. So. Baba Jabli Ballon. Ya Aini, Ya Aini. Ahmaru Asfa.